What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your favorite. The one and only extra love coming through to see what's popping with you. What up, Aries? What up, my pet milks? What it do, though? Hey, my baby. The people's champ, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, I see you. Been definitely tapping in, huh, my baby? This is going to be your February 2021 reading. And the message I get for you is linked in, right? So, you got four hot boys. The first one out was Live Your Bliss, right? Everybody been getting this card out of like 72 cards. This was like the one we're getting, right? But instead, it was really in reverse. As in somebody is not letting you be happy. Someone wants to control your happiness. Your bliss. <laughs> okay. Wow. Somebody is sad because you're happy. That's what I'm getting. And I also see that you're a loving person. Of course, you're my pet milk. I see you charming and popular. And you love to spread love. You love to just chop it up with people. You know what I'm saying? Converse. Right? And somebody don't like you doing that, my baby. Right? After that, Quickly after that, <laughs> this card popped out. Ask for guidance. So let me, let me back, back up. Somebody's moon is in the second house. Right? And they're getting help from the 12th dimension. Somebody's basically, to wrap it up, is not using their intuition. They're not doing with the most high telling them to do. They're doing the opposite, right? So guess what, you know, you pet milk and you don't like sour milk, right? <clears throat> so you tapped in and you asked for guidance. You know what I'm saying? Definitely ascending, operating out of your higher heart. And you're definitely lighting away. You're like the forerunner, the first one in your situation or in your family that has ever asked for guidance went inside instead of outside. That's what making you shine, my baby. Your, your spark, your capacity to love. That's a gift too. That's what I meant to tell you, my family members. Being empathetic and caring about another, that's a gift, talent, and ability. Because everybody don't have that, right, my baby? Right. Then the next card came out was your room. It didn't even give me a chance to <laughs> even really shuffle them up and it popped right out. <laughs> right. This is your room. Right. So this tell me a lot about you, my baby. I see you're on your middle path. You tap into your intuition. Well you how about this? You tap in with the moon and you walk with the sun. How about that? You're on your north node. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Divine timing, grace, and favor. You always tap into the most high before you make a decision. And I see you walk with a pep in, a, in your step because you know you are connected, directed, and divinely protected. You know you're God's child, so what do you fear? And you keep your eye toward the future because it's bright my baby right know a lot about you pet milk definitely a royale you definitely tame you're not too friendly you're not too mean you definitely tempered your energy somebody's trying to have you tied to poverty to lack You know, 
somebody's not showing you love so they can shatter your foundation. But see, your foundation was built on walking that middle path. And you got it out the mud. So that's why certain things don't move you no more. That's why certain things don't interest you like it did before. Let's see you a soldier, my baby. Nine of Wands. Spiritual strength. I don't know. Excuse my fat fingers, family. <laughs> Spiritual strength, right, my baby? Yeah, the wounded warrior. Definitely in the spiritual battle. For you, my baby, I'm feeling like you're recovering from battle. But you're keeping an eye out for the bullshit, right, my baby? Keep an eye out for the bullshit, right? At the end of the day, you got clarity and wisdom, even though you had to learn the hard way. Right, my baby? You definitely know that you're not on this path alone, even if it appears this way. You definitely know that the world is a stage and there's many actors playing roles and some are playing theirs quite well. It's taking you a long time to figure that out, right? Everything is not as it appears. You're more than ready to take on anything that comes your way, my baby. More than capable because you're linked in. <laughs> and I see we got some family members that like Lincoln Park. Because they park their butt down and meditate. They linked in. <laughs> right? Y'all is too silly for me. I love y'all. My pet monks. Yay. One of my favorite cards in this deck. What up, though, my baby? I can't keep saying it. Wow. Definitely a child of the divine. You know who you are. You know, soon as you get any type of resistance, you go holler at the most high, your highest self. My baby, this is freaking awesome. Already. Baby bossed up. <laughs> right. I see you had to get medieval on somebody real quick, right? And you had to really tap in and face the truth that was revealed unto you. Right? About somebody trying to exude control over you. Trying to upset things in your life. Yes. Definitely you've been at the crib chilling. And you know this for almost almost two months. You know, for a lot, it was between the last six weeks to eight weeks. We ain't got a lot of revelations. It's been a lot of people that don't like because you're happy. It's like burning their bridges. They burnt their bridges. Bridges. Yeah, someone was trying to upset your joy and stability. For shizzle. Hmm. This is crazy. Yeah, definitely ask were you in a spiritual union, two of cups. Because it seems like somebody doesn't want you to be happy. Something doesn't make you want to see you happy.
Pray tell. Nine of Wands. So, <laughs> 99, the end of two cycles. This is funny how it's the same card, two different decks, man. This shit is crazy. This is what you just came out of, and this is where you were at. Really thinking about some shit. Really thinking about, like, why are you worried about anything? You already know who you are. You were trying to figure out why there's always conflict and drama along your path. What the hell with that? What it do, though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why is somebody projecting their lack mentality onto you? You know? You're trying to figure that out. And you trust in the divine realm. This is your energy. This is the energy that you're in. <laughs> Don't look like you worry and fear and poverty and needing and all of that. Look like everything peachy to a fruity. To me, you know what I'm saying? All right. Beautiful energy. No, it's a real shit. This is what you look like <laughs> every time you come up on somebody. How bright that is. This is this is what your aura look like. So that's why you tripping like you showing somebody all is possible. It's like somebody is like <laughs> denying what they're seeing. Yeah, it's definitely re revealed to you one evening. Right? For three months, you sat back and watched somebody, watched how they, well, not, it, you don't have to be, I'm going to say months, but it could be three weeks. It depends on the family member, but for at least, for the majority of the family members, it's been like three months, you sat back and just really watched how somebody systematically tried to take away your joy and stability, smooth like that. Move like that, my baby. <laughs> wow, I know who you are. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I've been getting that type of energy, too. It was revealed to you. You, you lived two lifetimes with this person. You had two past lives with this person that you were... Really, at least two past lives. You know. Samurai. Someone was a samurai. And the other one, you know, the other time, someone was a pharaoh. So this is what I'm getting. You live two past lives with a person that you're thinking about or that is thinking about you. You are a servant to this person both times, <laughs> literally. In the feudal era, era, you are like a concubine to like the royal family. And in the Egyptians' times, someone worked on the pyramids. Someone was a prince, crown prince. You know, I couldn't make it up. <laughs> this is one lifetime you live with them. And it was unrequited love. Unrequited love. Mm. 
It was unrequited love in this lifetime. They wanted to be with you, but they couldn't. And then the second time. You were serving to them or to the royal family in few Japanese feudal times. That's why live your bliss was upside down. Because it just seems like this is the third lifetime with them and you still can't be happy with them. And you were like trying to figure out why they were trying to have you like in a subs subservient position but I see you tapped in a lot of our family members found that out you weren't tripping that's true then in another lifetime you were together it was promised to you that you would have a child with them Um, sacred circle is going to be prevalent. You are in, you are uh, um, indigenous, or just say Indian. Sacred circle, Siberia. And you were young. And you just want to be free. You definitely was a native of sacred circle, indigenous. <laughs> wow, then it's even getting deeper than that. Cause look, you didn't. This is you didn't live four lifetimes with this person. Oh my god, <laughs> this is crazy. So look. You were Basque. You were like French and Spaniard. Someone was a knight. Someone was a knight. Oh my God. <laughs> you had four lifetimes with this person. Wow. That was revealed to you. <laughs> this person was a knight. They used to travel all over. That's why they couldn't be with you. Wow. That's why this person seems so familiar to you. That's why this person, it just feels like they make you so happy. But something is preventing you from being happy with this person. Wow. So you've been thinking about it a lot, huh, my baby? Be like magic. Four freaking lifetimes. Wow, let's get it, my baby. This is it's gonna be deep. Linked in. <laughs> You know when we go about somebody's joy and stability. Yeah, y'all was the lovers. <laughs> Fuck it, we all grown. Y'all was the lovers. <laughs> For four lifetimes. That's why this person makes you feel safe and secure. Take that. It's always been stormy weather between you guys. <laughs> It just don't seem like it's gonna, it ever works out for you guys. Yeah, <clears throat> the promise for you to be happy this lifetime is going to be fulfilled. Right now, the divine realm, your cosmic and galactic family just wants you to rest, my baby. Rest, rest, rest.
any questions, comments, or concerns, meditate and listen. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is crazy. They didn't trust you in the past. They thought you were going to walk away. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, see, very seductive person, being a thing, <laughs> very attractive. You see, they got a the way that they walk. They walk like a royal, <laughs> right, my baby. They walk like a world. They kind of sleep upright. They like to sit in tall chairs and recliners like they're on the throne. That's where he was stripping you out. Definitely at least a prince. Could be a king. Yeah, you're the star. Ape on the star. Yeah. Two of Cups again. And you were thinking if you're so attractive, why isn't this relationship like a dream come true? And you were also thinking, why do you always attract spiritual unions? Because you're strong, my baby. Because you're strong. That's why. Mm, this is crazy. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, when you were, I say Native American, indigenous, you trusted them in that lifetime and they basically like fucked you, right? Then when they was a knight, they made love to you and made you all kind of promises that you found out was illusions, right? Then, okay, let me see this one. When you were Egyptian, oh my God. Then when you were in 19th dynasty, like Ramsey time, they did you so greedy, greasy. Ten of swords, they walked away from you. They like devastated you mentally. <clears throat> in samurai time, Like feudal era times. Wow. They made they made love to you one night. Under the stars. I told you that they love you. Ten of Wands. They abandon you. And you cut through the BS. And seeing that they were spinning up an illusion. Okay, Spirit. 
It's got real, real. Four lifetimes. Four lifetimes that they're dogging you. That's why you can't live your bliss with this person. They had four opportunities to give you love and they didn't. Overall. <laughs> wow. The reason why you can't be happy with this person is because they want you to bend over backwards for them. You're constantly in spiritual warfare with this person. But they don't seek guidance from the divine or seek wisdom about how to better, better your relationship. They just can't let you get away. They always come after you, my baby. They always. You were supposed to have a child with this person. Some of our family members, they have a little girl. A little girl. From this junior. Seven words. Child of God, trust. You know, anytime somebody trying to spin you like a top at the divine realm, they'll always have you. And you know, just to sit back and chill out and that. In this world, the most high move for his children. Now is your chance. And no, and now is your time to shine. This is your lucky day. Three three to six days. It's very propitious for you, very prosperous. It's a chance for you to make some money playing lots, lottery, dice, any type of gambling, odds type of um, any game of chance is lucky for you. And I see whoever is trying to run game on you they're basically playing with their life odds are against stacked against them lovers ability what was revealed thank you sir what was revealed about the lovers someone loves to rule the household King of Hearts, Emperor like energy. Someone they're taking the traditional role of men lead. You know, the barefoot pregnant traditional. It's a religious person. Forty four. Here we go, my baby. I four four, my baby. Your strength, the tenacity. I see you was looking for the answers, and you got them. You were searching for clues. Master healer. That's why you're in the spiritual battle because you're a healer, and you were told to cut off any dead thing from your life. If you wanted a chance to change your destiny. And you know it's an art to health and wealth. This almost feels like. 
the four opportunities, the four past lives that this person had to do right. They just didn't. They, they just want you to bend over backwards. It's just move like that. And when you don't is when they put you in Ten of Swords energy. Mental conflict. Oh, a little sign. Another four. Triple four. Four, four times. Forty-four, forty-four. Divine Feminine. Wow, my baby. You walk with the divine. You are a child of the divine. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Divine Feminine. It's out here. You could tell when someone's lying just to have sex with you. You could tell when somebody's lusting after you, and you could tell when someone loves you. Yeah, you are, a miracle is going to happen to you real soon. Can you see that rainbow? That's the promise that was made to you when you were a child. That you were going to be happy. So anybody fucking with that, it's going to be a bad deal. The stars love you, my baby. You're a fucking star. Think of that's what you've been sitting back. That's why you always have been in spiritual unions. Because you're a child of the Most High. You're the fucking star. Hello. Why does Five of Wands energy do it? Why does Five of Wands energy? Five of Wands energy. Shit. Ace of motherfucking. Pentacles, because you always make it pop off. You always get a chance to change your destiny. A person hates you because you're a child of the Most High. I couldn't make it up. You're the sign. <laughs> you're the sign. And in this world, you're going to always be happy. Always be happy. This is another four, 31. Four fives in a row. Wow. You've seen the power of the Most High at work five times in your life. In the last 30, 31 days, the last moon cycle, you've seen the divine realm work five times. The divine realm came to your assistance five times in 30 days. Real shit. That's too many cards. Tennis Lords, thank you. It gets good. This is crazy. Yeah, someone woke up to sleep in air. Somebody tried to have you. Man, I said you came out. It's time for some action. <laughs> yes, look at you, my baby. Somebody was definitely on that bullshit. Anytime somebody try to have you just all fucked up in your mind, that's what make you snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> yep. I just gave you the key to set you free, my baby. Master Healer. I mean, Master. Ascended Master. Ascended Masters is out here. Giving you wisdom and knowledge. But I just gave a family member a key to their freedom. That's what's up. This is the reason why. Someone had a nonchalant attitude about your happiness. You've been on a cycle with this person so many times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were always trying to start shit, spin up illusions to drain your energy. But guess what? The Prince of Wands was reversed. 
So they're not spinning up anything anymore. This was them in action. See that bullshit they spinning up over here? But now they reverse. They're not doing it anymore. Right? This person was acting um, child, childlike, childish. And all you do is love. And you didn't, you didn't carry these burdens for a long time, my baby. Princess of Cups. You know it's the reason why. You know the reason why you always love every being a thing. Seeds are deeds. We keep saying it. And it really all stemmed. Number one, you were a grandchild of the divine. Let's just get that out here. <laughs> this is crazy how it just is looking. You're definitely a grandchild of the sun. <laughs> that was a key too for you. <laughs> right. And anything that's in your way. <laughs> Yeah, you were wondering why the world seems to be at your feet, right, my baby? How you can cut away things easy peasy. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell when people are playing with your life. Playing with your livelihood. And that which brings you in action. You don't play about your food, your money, or your children. Your family, smooth like that. Hmm. Yeah, this is you, didn't I tell you? Cheerful all the time. Eat, drink, and be merry. That's what took you beyond. You love the love. You know what I'm saying? You like it to be peaceful. You like to cook and have people over, family over. You just love love. You definitely love a smooth, serene type of setting at home. You do a lot throughout the day dealing with silly motherfuckers and you just feel like you don't have to come home and deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the enemy, the divine just ushered away from you because they played the odds and they lost. <whistles> Bottom of the day. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? <laughs> You're going to get your fortune. Series, eighth dimensional energy. This shit is crazy. <laughs> You're fortunate. Same thing. Divine feminine for sure keeping an eye on you, my baby. Fortunate. This is the same thing. As a child, it was promised to you. You were going to always be fortunate. That's why you look good, smell good, think good, do good, work good, play good. Everything's good. God is good. <laughs> How about that? Child bell. You know what I'm saying? I'll just go down here. I knew it was something. I see you was on it, huh, my baby? On it like a net ball. I turned this one over. Yeah. This is about your union. Your, your spark. You were definitely told that you were going to have a child. You were promised a son with this person. You were supposed to have a son with this person. That's the truth. Somebody wants the um, wants to create with you a new chance to, to be with you. You know, somebody that's loving. And, you know, this is crazy. It's like this person, there are two minds. You can't serve two masters. This is like the loving, caring, warm, you know, nurturing, or what you thought they were. But this is what was revealed to you that they were. Cold, cool, calculating. I mean, definitely a big ego. You know, they said some things that definitely could have crushed a weaker person. And yeah, it hurt. 
But the divine realm is moving you on from this. This person gambled with their family, their life. Well, spell. I see you got balance and you was patient at home. But as soon as it was revealed that this person wasn't just like an agree, they were disagreeable spirit. How about that? They have disagreeable spirits. They're not linked in. Communication is down. The moon card for like the third time. It was revealed to you that this person was a crab. They're going to always be dry, always keep shit popping, always perform moon magic. You know what I'm saying? Never tap into the waters, never replenish themselves. And I said you had to be cold-blooded. Because, I mean, you're fucking beautiful. You're the queen of wands, my baby. And spirit revealed an evil plot. Yeah, some, some, someone was doing, had an evil plot against the grand, grandchildren. Four people plotted on your grandchildren, did moon magic. Yeah, I've seen somebody try to spiritually attack your grandchildren, and that's when you sprung into action. This for a specific few. So the first person that drops off or transition or, you know, wake and funeral, it'll be your confirmation that who sent torment demons to your grandchildren. <laughs> now that's deep. All because you're wealthy. And you work for truth. This is going to be that funeral. When somebody is going to know. You do not play with the vine's children. Playing with a fucking kid. And they did it for four months. Hmm. Somebody planned to bury you. Look what knocked on their door. You conquered your demons, like I said. You're balanced, walking the middle path. I see you had to sit down and really think about this shit. Somebody came from your grandchild. They tried to steal their gold energy. But I see you wrapped them in a cocoon of golden light to protect them. You were told about this. And you were told this person was going to be sorry to cut them off. <laughs> Yeah, someone ch tried to have you in a mental prison. They did work on you. To take away your health and your wealth. Even as far as fucking with your grandchildren. Just because you were attractive. And you didn't fuck with them no more. This is crazy. It was revealed to you one night. Oh my God. This is all you want is peace. Someone is hell bent on not giving you peace. But now, <laughs> a picture is worth a thousand words. Let's keep it real. Since you can get no peace right here, it's going to be rest in peace for somebody right here. And it just don't get no realer than that. The divine realm is not fucking around with anybody. Chick, child, dog, or man that's fucking with kids. And don't feel sorry for this person. That's the key. 
This shit is crazy. Yeah, this person is going to get cremated. This person is going to get cremated. Yeah, I keep telling you, y'all need to holler at your sea star. That burning ritual I had you do that work, my baby. Somebody drank all of this up because they were bored. And you see somebody sat back and planned. Again, I say f four people. And I see you could have fucked these people up a long time ago. But first, you you protected your grandchild. You protected your children, your home, your work, your emotions. Something just flipped over. This is crazy. <laughs> Divine Feminine at 13, like I said. She's definitely your child. You are not who are Native American, indigenous. You are a child of the founders, of the original builders. Man, I couldn't make this shit up. You are a child of the original builders. You hear the divine detector going off. That's why life is good for you. You're original. Okay, let me give you a couple more of these. You linked in, my baby. Linked in. Send you on your way. Yeah, this is a fortune of one of our sea stars. This is the fortune of one of our sea stars. Somebody was juggling you, right? You're rich beyond measure. That's what make you fortunate. Yeah. Some somebody plans your death. Huh? <laughs> now you get to see theirs. They sent torment de demons towards you because you didn't chit chat with them. You didn't politic with them. Within the next seven days, this is gonna be this is gonna come to pass. This what they were. Anybody that comes for the kids and the divine's kids, they get what they get. Anything that's done in the dark shall come to the light. Ooh, divine masculine. You're definitely a child of the divine. Hebrew. These are this is my feminine. This is my masculine. They're both out here. Triple X. You're not to be fucked with. Right, my baby, because you're linked in. My pet milks. This was a wild ride. It basically was a big ass pissing contest. As some wands. Who had the biggest dick, basically? And who was the biggest dick? And who was the biggest loser? I love you, I love you, I love you. You being healed at this time. And you are a healer. This is going to be significant. Meditate and marinate on this. This is an ankh, an ansate cross. You're being healed. A lot of our family members have this same tattoo. Same tattoo on your back. Or on your hand. An ansate cross. I love you, my baby. You linked in. And your connection is strong. And fuck 5G. You know what I'm saying? You're 15G. 15th dimension, 12th dimension. I love you, I love you, I love you. I wish you everything beautiful. Keep on keeping on. And I'm so glad that you tapped in to protect you and those that you hold dear. Forevermore, you will be protected, and your children will be protected, and your children's children will be protected. You're the first, my baby. You're LinkedIn.
Buy my pet milks. Buy my Aries. I love you with my highest love.